Fully Furnished, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of 2 Timothy chapter 3, and verse 16 and 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. There was a time when you were selling a house or renting a house, you would possibly advertise it as fully furnished. In other words, you would buy the furniture, put it in, decorate it, have it ready for somebody to move in. They wouldn't have to buy furniture. They wouldn't have to bring anything. Uh, Some of the new uh, sort of room sharing apps that are out there where you can rent a room or a place for a short period of time have fully furnished places. They already have all that you need in it. Here he describes the word of God as equipping the man or woman of God and fully, it's fully furnished It has all that you need in it. The word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, able to divide asunder of soul and spirit, of the thoughts and intents of the heart. It is God's tool that he uses to develop us. It is a sword that defends us. It is a tool that develops us. It's a surgeon's scalpel to cut away sin from us. So the word of God will keep us from sin or sin will keep us from the word of God. We need the word of God. Uh, it, it, we need to be use it so that it can redirect our lives. When we get off course, the Word of God can redirect us back into the way that leads to life everlasting. So, if you have some lack in your life right now, can I suggest that you start with the Word because it's fully furnished with all that you need for your spiritual life. Don't look to some guru. Don't look to some current thought leader or influencer. Always look to the Bible. That's why we anchor what we do here in the Word of God, so that it's not my opinion that matters, it's what God says that matters. And we all have to adjust our lives to that. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this night, and I thank you for these dear ones. I pray that you'd help us to move into this fully furnished Word that equips us with all that we need for life. It teaches us about marriage and about family. It teaches us about our spiritual walk with you. It gives us insight and wisdom when we're discouraged and downhearted. It infuses us with uh, the ability to be victorious over sin. It makes us more than conquerors. God, I pray that you'd help us to dig into the word and not merely to allow it to sit unopened on our shelves. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.